guys, this is your boy TNT Barbecue. Hey, I'm doing something that's very interesting right now. I am doing a brisket, but I'm doing a brisket holiday style. This ain't Texas style. This ain't this is holiday style brisket. Basically, it's gonna have the smoky flavors. It's gonna have the salt. It's gonna have the pepper. We're gonna have some rosemary, some thyme, some fresh garlic, and also I'm gonna hit it with my AP rub, all-purpose rub. You can find some of this all-purpose rub, guys. It's savory on beef and things of that nature. But I'm going to do a good thing. I'll be using the SM066 from Cook Shack. And, guys, go over there and check out the products Cook Shack got because they laying it down. So, hey, let me no further talking. Let me bring you in. This is going to be a long video. Let me bring you in a little closer so we can see what we got. This is a U.S. Choice brisket, but it's been wet-aged, so... Uh, this brisket is ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the packet and we're gonna bring you, we're gonna show you uh, how we do it. Let me get this brisket purged off this brisket. Yeah. Oh, this is a big brisket right here. I'm gonna go ahead and get the cutting board uh, all cleaned up. Yep, get everything off. So, yep, we're gonna trim this brisket up. Now, this brisket is gonna be trimmed up pretty quick uh not quick but I'm, I'm gonna try my best to show you what i'm doing so i always start with this deco this right here and i try to get it even as possible and we're gonna make some beef towel infused beef towel so that done i'm just gonna put that off to the side right here in my uh towel towel pan so always try to like uh, see where i'm gonna go with my brisket so I, I take this little fat off right here. And you can see how they gouge this brisket, but that's okay. Cause I'm gonna go ahead and straighten it out right here. You know, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get all that fat off that brisket right now. Yeah. Ooh wee. So I like to turn my brisket a lot when I'm trimming. To kind of get um, all the fat off of it. Yeah, I mean, not fat, but you know, membrane and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna make a towel out of this right here. So I like to go and I like to make my first cut down here to get this off of here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut that up uh, to make my towel off of. And I like to round my brisket off. So I don't have no uh, corners that gonna burn on me. So my corners are, uh, they're not sharp. So I wanna make sure I cut those corners that gonna be sharp, that gonna burn off. Round it off, yeah. Round that point off like you're supposed to. And you see, that need to be rounded off too. For the most part, you know, I'm gonna cut a lot of this off, so, but I still wanna make sure it's rounded off. All right. And stuff that's hanging, you wanna make sure you round it off. Yeah, you wanna cut with that grain. And, and look, man, this brisket is looking amazing already. So, fat side is right here. You see that thin thing right there? That, that, that gonna burn. So, um, I'm gonna switch knives for a second. And I like to start up here by removing this clump of fat right here. So I, I start right here and I wanna go down and I like to move that fat right there and go up. Yep, so that fat is going into the uh, trim pile right there. So I like to get all that gone. Uh-huh. So that could go into the, the, the towel. And, and I, yeah. As you can see, you want to, don't, don't be scared to trim this off because it's going to burn. You want to make sure you have some edible brisket. So, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just making sure that everything is aerodynamic. 
as you can see guys what I'm doing okay and then you want to go you want to start getting that, that fat shade down a little bit on that brisket mm-hmm you don't want to go too far in it but you want to make sure that the fat is shaved down you don't want people biting it till a uh, big clumps of fat and when you when you kind of shaping that brisket you still want to remember aerodynamic and you notice I'm going at that angle where I want to keep my brisket at because it's going to shrink in the smoker you don't want to have um, you see how that, that's pointed you don't want to have no sharp edges and you want to just kind of make sure you use your knife at an angle where 90 degree angle when you cut down that you're not leaving no sharp corners that the brisket can burn. And you want to kind of feel to see if you see anything that's not a uh, quarter inch fat when you do your brisket. So I think it's a little thick up in here at this area right here. So I just kind of want to just keep going until I get that fat cap down the way I want it. All right. And uh, like I say, you know, you want to make sure. Try not to gouge it, but if you gouge it, don't worry about it. It's just, it just a uh, part of trimming brisket. So you see, I got some stuff sticking out right here. I want to go ahead and, and make sure I get my brisket. I can have everything sliceable. I don't want no, uh, I don't, I'd rather uh, use my brisket for something I need than uh, have it burn up in the smoker. So, that, 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 that's TNT trim brisket right here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to get ready to trim it. I'm gonna take off camera and get everything set up for what I need, okay? Look at all that fat, guys. Oh, the garlic, I wanna put some rosemary. All right, this rosemary right here, I'm gonna keep the stems of the rosemary cause this is gonna go inside my smoker when it's done. Okay, so I got the rosemary right there. And I'm gonna put that off to the side. Actually, I'm gonna put it inside of my smoker box. I got my smoker box right here, guys, as you can see. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that stem right in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the rosemary right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. A lot of rosemary, guys. Like I said, it's gonna be a brisket, like it's gonna be a holiday brisket. You know, rosemary and beef goes together. Man, you know, this would be good prime real recipe you could do and uh, time. So uh, time, I'm basically uh, stripping the leaves off the time, which you can smell this. Again, I'm gonna put that in the box with the smoke with, okay? And I wanna make sure beating, chopping that up, okay? So while I'm chopping this up, I'm gonna bring you off camera. I'm gonna finish chopping this up till I get like a real nice consistency of everything chopped up the way it's supposed to be. And um, I'm gonna continue doing that off camera, okay? Got, now I got my rosemary, my thyme, my garlic, put in the bowl. that in the bowl. All right, to the rosemary thyme, I'm gonna add some TNT barbecue, a piece rub. All right. So in the AP, TNT AP rub, with the rosemary, thyme, garlic, and herbs. And I'm gonna add a little olive oil into that to make a paste. Like I said, it's gonna be an unusual brisket recipe. 
And we're gonna keep folding it in with the AP rub, okay? And a TNT uh, blend of seasonings and an all-purpose rub. Cause you got the salt, and I'm gonna add a little bit more AP season. Cause this is a big piece of brisket. And I have a little rosemary, a little thyme into that too. But I want to just really bring home the flavors with fresh rosemary and thyme. So I'm adding that into it right there. All right. So we got that, we got a paste. I wanna add a little bit more olive oil. Cause I wanna make sure that this olive oil. All right guys, so we got our brisket, okay? So, you know, sometimes we use an electric smoker, okay? So I like to have a little smoke ring, it doesn't matter. But what I like to do, help my smoke ring, this right here is called pink curing salt, okay? So what I like doing is just coming along but not that much, but just, just add this little uh, pink curing salt all over this brisket like, like such. Not too many, just add it in. Just add it in where you want a smoke ring at, okay? You don't wanna go too heavy with this right here, okay? Get the side, get the edges. Just, just, just a little bit goes a long ways, okay? And uh, this is rubber pink curing salt. You can use Tinder Quick. But just make sure you don't add a lot, you know, cause this is a little bit goes a long ways. And this is just gonna help with the smoke ring, basically. It, that's all I see it's gonna do. It's just gonna help get that little smoke ring that you don't uh, have when it comes to, so a couple pinches of pink curing salt in the, in the, in the uh, flat and in the point. This is gonna help with the, uh, this is gonna help with the smoke ring, okay? So, boom, we got a smoke ring now. now let's get the seasoning, okay? So I got, a, I, got, I got my hand, I'm gonna go ahead and just start getting that onto the brisket right there. Get that paste onto the brisket, yes indeed. Hope this is enough. I you know it gonna be enough, cause and uh, yeah, we just gonna get that all over the brisket, guys. You know, all over the brisket. The fat cap too, all over the brisket. All-purpose rub. Hit it over with that though. It really go good with brisket. So, you got your garlic, you got your rosemary, you got your thyme. So that, now we need to get to the black pepper, okay? The bark builder. I'm just going with black pepper, little bull. It's gonna be in the smoker for a good little while, okay? So I'm going on liberal with the black pepper on this brisket, cause we're cooking an electric smoker. So we're gonna cook this brisket for a long time. All right guys, so I got a sprig of rosemary and some thyme. I'm gonna put it right in this infused towel. So when it's cooking, it can get all that yummy flavor and I'm gonna put some garlic in here too. So we're gonna, we're gonna make infused garlic and rosemary and thyme fused beef towel, okay? So that, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna strain it off. I'm gonna bring y'all back and show y'all that though, guys. So that's all we're gonna do with the rosemary. We got the garlic, it's gonna be smoked, okay. So speaking of the smoker, let's talk about the smoker. Hey, we're gonna use a little hickory, okay? I'm gonna put the hickory in here, like such, right, right on top of the herb. We got rosemary, thyme, and you know, we should add, I don't know, we're not gonna add no garlic. No, we got a snowstorm. We're in a blizzard warning. We got about six inches of snow. The temperature finna drop between 15 to 30 below zero. This is an insulated smoker, man. And we finna go ahead and get it cut on. So first I wanna go temper uh temperature. Shack on. Man, I got the smoke rolling. I can see a nice clear smoke. I'm finna go ahead and uh throw my beef tallow. 
Oh my goodness, yes, yes, yes. I'll put that on the bottom shelf. All right, now let me go get my brisket. Look guys, look at that brisket, baby. All right, I'm gonna go put that on the cook shelf right now. Pull the rack out, I think I'm gonna go right down middle. Fat side up. I think I'm gonna slant a little bit put it all go in there. I know it's gonna shrink. Hey, we smoke. I can smell the rosemary time right now, guys. So, uh, yeah, let, let's get to cooking. Oh, <laughs> God, if I didn't tell you, it's 14 degrees below zero. So, the cook shack got a job to do tonight. So, let's let the cook shack do what it do. My temperature to 190. And it's gonna hold. So, what I do with the probe, I just set it in. And we're gonna go ahead and put it into the meat. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, set it into the thickest part of the meat right here. That's the thickest part of the brisket. Oh. And I'm going to go. I'm going to set the 190. I think at 190. Uh, 190, I'm going to let it sit and rest for about. Eight. So what happened with this right here, basically. I've set it for 191, and by the time this grill cools down to 144, it holds the brisket at 144 degrees internal temperature for the hours it needs. That going to help the brisket to hold and seal in the moisture and have a long rest, guys. And remember, we're dealing with 15 degrees below zero. So I'm about to set this and forget it. Dallas, show them this, Dallas. Show them out here, Dallas. Yeah, so... Um this tallow that came out of all that rosemary, thyme, and garlic. Oh my goodness. The smell is amazing. All right, guys, that's what I'm talking about. This is a no wrap holiday brisket. You see the rosemary, you see the thyme, you see the bark, you see the black pepper. Guys, that is a barky brisket cooked in the cook shack, guys. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, that's what we're talking about with the TNT all purpose rub. You can find that at www.bbqtnt.com. Guys, I'm telling you what, guys, bark with a dog pound. Bow, wow, wow. Hey, Cook Shite got an awesome smoker, man. This is amazing. It's been sitting there resting at 144 degrees, guys. I'm telling you what, Cook Shite doing hey, good. Job. Yeah, let me move that out of the way right there on the rosemary. Let me, let me see what we got, guys, okay? All right, we're going to start right down the middle. Oh, yeah. I tell she tender. Oh, my goodness. Do y'all see the juiciness in that thing right there? Oh, my goodness. Can they see the juiciness in that? So we're going to slice, guys. You got a smoke ring. We got a nice smoke ring. We got nice juice, man. We got moisture. We got rendering the fat, guys. Okay, let's let's go in for a slice, guys. Okay, so we're going for a slice right here. We'll get some of that bark right there. Hey, do she hold on her own weight? Yes. Do she fold? Oh, she's a flopper. It's a flopper, guys. Oh my goodness. And let's see, do they tear? Oh, look how tender it is today. It tears apart like tender, tender like a mama's love, guys, okay? Oh my goodness, that is tender. Right there, guys, that is tender. Mmm. Juicy, more, mmm. That got flavor. Okay, guys, so let's go to the money shot. Let's see how this, um, we're gonna go slice it. We'll get us a burnt end right here. So let me go in pretty. Oh, look at that bark. Oh my goodness. Look at that, man. 
Wow, look at that burnt end. Look at that duck. Now that duck is amazing. Look at that duck, guys. That's electric smoker, man. Look at the juices off that electric smoker, man. Oh my goodness. Look at that duck. So we'll put that right. I'm gonna put this right here. And we're gonna go slice some burnt ends. Okay. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, so uh, we're going to go out for a taste test, and I'm going to get a burnt in. All right, guys, it said the cook shack did an outstanding job, guys. It's an understatement. Y'all see how moist and juicy this is, so let's go. Man. This holiday brisket is amazing. Oh my goodness. It's salty. The pepper is tamed down so much. It's like, man, this is amazing. Mmm. None wrap brisket. The bark is amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh man, let's go in for a slice a couple more. Oh my goodness, let's, let's have a couple more slices of this right here, man. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you what, man. Oh. Man, oh my goodness. Can y'all see that, man? Oh my goodness, look at that duck. Oh, look at the juices. Oh my goodness, look at it, it just tears apart. Oh my goodness. Wow. Man, because. Mm. Like I told y'all guys, the fold is amazing, it holds up on its own weight, and it pulls apart. It's so tender. So. Oh. Hey, man, this don't need no beef tallow. The umami, the beef flavor is so amazing. Man, guys, you got to try this. This is holiday style brisket, non wrap cooked on the cook shack, guys. Comment, subscribe, thumbs up, like this video, share with friends. It's not a normal cook that I would normally do, but man, I am rewarded with the best tasting brisket I've had in a long time. It's juicy, moist. The people at Cook Shack know what they're doing. And man, look at this brisket. It just comes apart like butter, man. Oh my goodness. It's just amazing. But uh, hey, yo, up. this is your boy TNT Barbecue. I'm out of here. God bless you and God bless America. We out of here. Peace.